This is their bowl game. Henry going straight ahead, nothing there. Did the ball, ball come out. loose? Louisiana says they have it, do they? And this is interesting because it looked like ULM was content just to take this thing into halftime, which I agree with that philosophy, but if they give up the ball here, that's huge. Still no official word. And now the official trying to pull players off. Farad Gardner, who's already had an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, getting pulled away by the official. And it is Louisiana's ball. Andre Jones, number 10, came out of the scrum with it. And that's the thing, Clay. A lot of times you see those scrums like that. Don't know exactly who has it. The ruling on the field as the runner was down prior to the ball coming loose. Fourth down. Oh, oh wow. So after all of that, <laughs> the runner was down anyway. I don't know. He was not down. Just had one look at that replay, but it looked like he was held up and his knee didn't hit the ground before the ball popped out. Again, in that scrum there, when you're looking for a see who has it, nine times out of ten, the guy who can hand the ball to the referee, that's who they're going to go with. We well, can see the ball is out yeah, right there. Out. That ball is out. And because I think Andre Jones came out of that and handed the ball to the referee, I think this is going to be Louisiana's ball. Zion Hill and Chauncey Manak forced that fumble. And how good has Chauncey Manak been? the last couple of weeks. He's had a great couple of weeks. Four sacks in the first half last week. One here today. Former Georgia Bulldog. Maybe giving Louisiana an opportunity here with a few seconds left on the clock before halftime to add to their lead. And, and how unfortunate this would be for ULM. Played a great first half against their rival. One of the top teams in the Sun Belt. Going to go into halftime up 14-10. Really just look content to run the clock out, but it's going to give Louisiana the ball with a shot. They still got a couple timeouts left. You see the uh, plus 11 turnover margin for the Raging Cajuns in the last four games. And it's been a real problem for ULM the other way. They have turned it over eight times in the last four games, all losses, and maybe a critical one here late in the first half. And it's especially where it happens at. How about the. 22 yard line. So they're ruling Henry down. The replay shows he was nowhere near down. After Here's the review, ball. The ball was loose and recovered by the defense. Louisiana will begin their series at the 22 yard line. First down. A replay official, Tim Fetch, getting that call right. A big break here for the Raging Cajuns. Huge break here, kind of a sloppy first half for Louisiana after their first drive. But they're gonna get the ball back, 11 seconds, two timeouts, and I think, Clay, this area of the field. And they may have put some time back on the clock. Yeah, maybe about 19, 20 seconds. They're gonna put back on the clock. Plenty of time from this area of the field to score. Well, especially for this offense, we saw them score quickly on the first series of the game in two plays. They were in the end zone in 40 seconds. Second drive scored in under four minutes. But uh, they've kind of stalled out here the last four drives. Now and, they get a break. And I can't understand why they adjust the clock and put about another eight or nine seconds on. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do right now. Timeout, Louisiana Monroe. They're first. It is 30 seconds. Well, Monroe calls the timeout. Is it too late to adjust the clock here if someone catches it? it, it, it see, if I'm Billy Napier right now, I'm, I'm trying to ask why more time hasn't been put on the clock. I mean, I mean this is if this were back in their own territory, okay, fine, because you know, the chances of scoring aren't, aren't very good. But right here, another eight seconds, that's another at least one more play, you'd have an opportunity to run. 